Hello YouTubes, welcome to another Mail Call Monday and today I have a special delivery from Greg Dean. Now I kind of know what that says or at least I did because I've got such a terrible memory I've sort of forgotten so this is going to be a surprise for both of us. So as I mentioned I have kind of forgotten what this is, but I do remember being quite uh, excited about the prospect of getting it, so whatever it is. I've got a rough idea, I'm not completely, what's the word, you know the word, senile, just, just partly senile. Come on, open up, I know you're in there. I don't want to go to, oh, okay, there we go, right, so I usually have a little letter, which, oh, right, oh, look, you got it from yankeedabbler.com, I'm guessing this is an invoice, which you don't need to see, oh, goodness, you just bought me something new, directly from Yankee Dabbler, so I don't actually know what this, this is, oh, Look at this. Okay, that's what's in the box. So this is not actually what I was expecting. I have no memory of this. So this looks like a couple of slightly different auto racks. I think they're a bit shorter than the ones I normally have. What does it say in the box? You can read along. HO Articulated Auto Carrier, Norfolk Southern. Right, so I'm guessing these both go together then. They join together. Let me get them out of the box, see how this works. I was wondering why the box was so long. Ooh, these are nice. And there's a sort of diaphragm in the middle to join them. More literature inside, instructions. I suppose I should really read them so I don't break them, but let's get them out of the box first. Oh, these are gorgeous. Oh, Greg, I was not expecting this at all. So they are actually quite similar to the Autorax I've got, but twice as long, because this is technically one unit. So obviously you have one, one truck there, it joins in the middle with a pin through this. Ooh, it's flexible, flexible diaphragm. How does that go together? I suppose that's where the instructions come in. I'm guessing we take this off and that pin goes through there, maybe. Let's have a look at the other one, see what it says. Well, it doesn't say anything. It doesn't have like a voice or anything. Yeah, I have no idea. So it looks like that goes in there. And the pin in the middle of that centre truck must join them together somehow. So there's a little screw in there. Probably take that off. Put these together. Put that over the middle. Screw it together. I think. I'll have a quick look at the instructions. I don't want to break this. This is really nice. I was not expecting this. Does that mean there's something else coming? Greg, you maniac. Good weight to that as well. Fantastic. Right, instructions. And I'll see you on the track because obviously we have to hook these up to the Norfolk Southern local I've got. Great idea. Well, doesn't that look nice? All we need is a Norfolk Southern local to come along, take him for a spin. And we're off. Now, I will of course hook up all my other Autoracks at the end of the video. So 
So make sure you stick around for that. But for now, it's just pure Norfolk Southern. I am a huge Atlas fan. Their Locos and their rolling stock is just, just really nice. Great value for the money. I mean, especially when other people buy it. But, you know, I bought a few Atlas items myself. Very pleased with the quality of the parts, the detail, and how they run. That's what it's all about. Value for money. Enjoying the hobby. Ah, oh, these look great. Thank you so much, Greg. Really was not expecting that, and I don't think that was a memory problem. I genuinely don't think I knew that these were coming. Silky smooth, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I do need to finish my mountain, but I'm too busy playing with trains. Can you blame me? Excellent. Thank you, Greg. Your generosity knows no bounds, apparently. I really appreciate this. Now, as I said, I'm going to hook up all my auto racks together behind that, but I'm not sure if that little loco is going to be able to pull it. It's an Athern Blue Box. I do like it, but it's not got a huge amount of weight. And I've got six more auto racks to add to that. It may need a helper. Right, that's it for today. I am going to go and play with my new trains. And I really need to get on with the, the scenery, but, you know, generous people like Greg keep sending me stuff to play with. Not complaining. See you all very soon. Bye for now. Train time.